Ennis, uh, thank you so much for being here. First, I've just got to get your reaction to this video. First of all, thank you for having me. And second, Turkey is not acting like a NATO ally since dictator Erdogan took the presidency. I mean, he literally transformed the, the whole society with his anti-West and, and anti-American rhetorics in the last 10 years. You know, Erdogan regime destroyed a democratic institution, rule of law, democracy in the country. You know, Turkey's human rights abuses have reached, reached a horrible level. You know, prisons are full of pro-West and pro-democracy and pro-human rights people, journalists, academics, housewives with infants just because of they don't approve his dictatorship. You know, Erdogan always played a ball side between investing in you know, Russia, Iran, Iran, China for his personal gainings and dang uh, dangerous ambitions in the region. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just crazy how the society now is literally are grown up with his anti-Semitic, anti-American, anti-West uh, theories. You know, 15 people in that mob, as we said, were arrested, and they were all members of this Turkish youth union. What do you know about it? Other than it's anti-American, what is, what is it? What do you know about this group? They look like thugs. I mean, yeah, they are thugs. Unfortunately, yes, they are thugs. I mean, it, it, it kills my heart because at the end, this is my country, this is my people, and this is my, it, it, it's my city. But you know, just because of uh, Erdogan's policies, to Turkey is literally becoming that this more undemocratic every day. I mean, Turkey was the bridge of Islam and West, but just because of all this uh, Erdogan's policies, it's, it's in, that bridge is gone. Um, and now, I believe it is not safe for any non-Muslim. If you are a Jew, if you are a Christian, Catholic, whoever you are, you know, you are not safe in Turkey because of Erdogan's hate speeches in the in those uh, rallies. And you say Erdogan is is fanning the flames of this activity. Do you think these 15 who were arrested for us attacking these two Marines will they face any sort of real justice? No, definitely not. I mean, there is no real justice in Turkey. I mean, look at him. You know, all all prisons are full of, you know, innocent people, kids, moms. You know, so no. Um, unfortunately not, uh, but it just breaks my heart because there are millions of kids growing up in Turkey, anti-American, anti-West. I mean, you see all over the Turkey because of Erdogan, they are burning American flags. Yeah. They are, they are now hating Christians and Catholics and Jewish people just because of Erdogan's hate speeches. And we and saw... now, just, just lately, Erdogan is now wants to join BRICS where they're full of dictators. You see Iran, China, and Russia, and now a NATO ally, a NATO ally wants to now become a, a, a member of uh, BRICS. We are seeing in this video we're playing here, at one point they put a sack over one of these Marines' heads. Yeah. Do you think they were trying to kidnap him? Yes. They were really trying to harm that innocent Marine. Yes, they were trying to uh, hurt him. And if they, I'm glad that there's videos because sometimes when I talk, people don't believe it. Right. People are saying that, oh, no, this is a NATO ally. These things are not happening. Listen, I'm an NBA player. I, I have a bounty on my head. I asked this during the What did you do to get a bounty on your head? Do you just criticize Erdogan? Oh, God. I talk about the human rights violations and political prisoners. And that led them to put a bounty on my head and put my innocent father in jail. You know, but I want to say thanks to our, our government. You know, as the last seven, eight years, they've been trying to put as much as pressure on Turkey so they will leave my family alone. They're not even allowed to leave uh, leave Turkey, but I'm only one. There are thousands of people in America right now have bounty on their head just because of they either criticize the government or they don't think the same way what everyone thinks. Is your family going to pay a price for you being on this show, speaking out like this? No, because I want to say thank to, thanks to our, the, the media in America and also thanks to our uh, government because um, Democrats are Republicans. They've been, have, they have my back no matter what. And, you know, it's it just sad because, I mean, I have not seen my mom or dad over 10 years now just because of I talk about the, you know, political prisoners over there. And that, for that reason, they call me a terrorist. I mean, how crazy is that? Yeah, that's sad. It's really sad. You can't go back there to see them, yeah. and they're not allowed I mean, my, to leave Turkey to see you. My name is on Interpol list. I have now only can, I'm able to go to only 29 countries in the world. If I go anywhere else other than 29 countries, 
then I will get deported back to Turkey because of the Interpol arrest. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.